Fuck Daddy, back at it with another one, guys. Uh, I wanted to bring uh, some nostalgia to uh, my 90s viewers. Uh, I was looking through some old stuff, and uh, I found these. And I, I know you guys remember these. Uh, these. This is when McDonald's uh, put out their, uh, what is it, the ice set. So um, you got the caged ice, you got the ice breakers, and then you got, uh, yeah, so these ice breakers just for example guys we got uh, daniel cleary from the rock newfoundland i uh, love this guy he was such a great player for the for the red wings when they won the cup i mean i believe he was a huge part of that run and uh he's a newfoundland boy you gotta love those east coasters so that's uh, just what i'll be showing today guys um a lot of cool 90s stuff as you know i'm a big 90s guy i love uh pretty much everything 90s i got my own 90s group junk wax beauties and uh yeah you could check that out on facebook another thing before i get started guys uh, i want to say a huge shout out to everyone who has joined my channel as of late uh, i did hit my 200 subscribers mark i believe i'm sitting at about 210 subscribers at the moment so thank you guys uh really appreciate it love the support guys love the comments that i'm getting uh you guys seem to be enjoying the video so that's two thumbs up love what's going on guys so i'm just going to continue with uh you know content i'm going to continue with hockey stuff and uh, i'm just going to keep coming back with more fire so thank you guys very much for uh that's a pretty big milestone for me uh considering i only started this not too long ago uh, so yeah 200 subscribers thank you guys very much uh that's from puck daddy uh, but anyway guys as, as i said we're going to get into some 1997 mcdonald's upper deck ice uh product line that they uh, had uh, uh that would be joe thornton's rookie year patrick marlowe's rookie year such a such a good time in, in hockey as we all know legends were just tremendous uh and uh, we're gonna dive right into that uh right now so stick stick with me stick with me it's not gonna be too long guys it's not gonna be too long but it's gonna be a fun time so first off the rook i was just talking about joe thornton Tell me about his number there, wearing number six. They were talking about how Joe will never win a cup in Toronto now because uh, we're cursed, be apparently, because of his number. I heard that on, on a podcast. I can't remember where, but that's a pretty stupid uh, assumption. But Jumbo Joe is going to raise a cup this year. And it was funny. I got a, a couple guys in my comments talking about, you know, I came for the hockey cards, but I, I, left, I left for the Leaf nonsense. Well, first of all, Guys, I'm not hiding the fact that I'm a Leaf fan. Um, I appease to all all different types of teams. I love the game of hockey. I love the NHL. But I'm not going to hide the fact that I'm a Leaf fan. I'm a diehard Leaf fan. Uh, we're going in this year. And, uh, you know, it's something to be excited about. Um, I've gone through a lot of shit, shit years, guys. So uh, excuse me uh, to all my viewers if I'm a little bit Leaf-centric. Uh, that's what it is, guys. Um, you know, you can ride or die or... That's pretty much what it is, guys. Uh, I'm a Leaf fan, and uh, I, I will talk about other teams, and, and you know, we'll have a good time. But uh, I just thought that comment was pretty funny. And, uh, you know, you, you win some, you lose some at the end of the day, right? But anyway, let's move along. Another rookie from that year, we got Patty Marlowe. He just passed Gordy Howe's record of uh, amount of games played in the NHL. He broke Mr. Hockey's record. A lot of guys were uh, happy about it. I was happy about it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, the reason why is I met this guy, and uh, I know he's a first-class, uh, first-class hockey player, first-class citizen, great family guy, uh, deserves everything he gets, uh, you know, with breaking that record. So, you know, I, I tip my hat to Patty Marlowe. And then you got uh, Chris Phillips, another young stud back then uh, with the Ottawa Senators. Uh, I don't know really what happened with Chris Phillips, but uh, I know he was a damn good defenseman uh, when he broke into the league. He was very highly toted, and uh, you know I, you know I don't watch the Sens, right? So uh, uh, Chris Phillips, Alexei Moro uh, Morozov. Anybody remember him? Pittsburgh Penguins uh, rook. This is the rookies of that year. So icebreakers just coming into the league. Pretty cool cards though. McDonald's put out there at the time. Um, Vla uh, Vaclav Prospel, another Philadelphia Flyer. <clears throat> uh, he was decent. He had a pretty good career. 
And then we got uh, some of the cage dice. Uh, so we got start off Andy Moog in a weird jersey with the Montreal Canadiens. Pretty cool though. Love love these cards, man. Uh, it's funny, uh, you know the the McDonald's cards when they used to put out was was a great product, uh, you know. And you know Tim Hortons, I never really got into them, but back in the day when I was collecting, McDonald's cards were were the shit. And uh, I loved ripping packs and eating Big Macs. You know what I mean? Boom, bars. Um, so next up we got Mike Richter, uh, another absolute beautician goaltender with the Rangers. Uh, stole the show in '94. Uh, he was just a tremendous goalie, uh, goaltender for the United States. Uh, he he just had a tremendous career, guys. Mike Richter, Stanley Cup winner. And then you got uh, Martin Brodeur. Uh, in my eyes, uh, second all-time best goaltenders uh, on my list. Uh, Patty Roy, as I mentioned in my previous video, is my favorite goaltender and believe he is uh, the best goaltender of all time, uh, in my in my opinion, guys. So Marty Bordeaux does have the most wins, played a hell of a career, won the cup, did it all, and uh, I tip my hat off to him as well. Beauty. And then uh, we got the dog, Cujo with the Edmonton Oilers. He had such a great pr uh, playoff run. I believe he got injured um, w in that run uh, with the Edmonton Oilers, uh, but he was an awesome goalie with the Leafs, loved his helmet. He, he just, uh, you know, he, he was the epitome of, of just a competitor and he would work every single night. He would just take pucks all over the place and, and he, he would compete and that's what goaltenders need to do. Um, Curtis Joseph, the dog. Uh, and then we got the man, Patty Roy, Patty Roy, and then we got him with the uh, Colorado Avalanche. Um, this is, remember, 1997, um, stole the show uh, with the Avalanche. He said to the Montreal Canadiens, get me the hell out of here. Now I'm going to show you, you know, how much you lost, uh, you know, this is, he made a statement in the league so many different times and he just cemented himself in my eyes as the best goaltender of all time he had the swag he had the personality he he had the confidence he played like a warrior and you know he didn't back down um patty roy uh, gets uh, my top notch uh, goaltender of all time for sure for sure and then we got another johnny van beesbrook the beezer with the florida panthers another great goaltender there uh, we got, uh, we already showed that bad boy. And then we got Dominic Kasich. Could be thrown in that uh, conversation as well, guys, of uh, one of the best goaltenders of all time. He definitely is. Um, he didn't have a style. He just would basically, I'm going to stop pucks, and I don't care how I do it. That's what he did. Um, tremendous goaltender, tre tremendous competitor. Um, I mean, this year he had, what was his save? Uh, 2.27. Uh, goals against average, um, 37 wins, 20 uh, 20 losses. Uh, that's that's unbelievable. So Dominic, the Dominator, Hasek, and then we got uh, uh, Damian Rhodes. Anybody remember him? I do for that cup of coffee he had with the Leafs, uh, and uh, you know here he is with Ottawa Senators. Damian Rhodes, uh, that cup of coffee was very short though. Uh, my man, legend in this city. Love him. One of the best cold tenders in Leaf history, Felix the Cat Paw fan. Tell you a little story about, uh, you know, whenever I played ball hockey as a kid, I would, you know, I would strap on the pads. I'd pretend I was literally Felix the Cat Paw fan, and I literally had his glove hand, guys. I'm not lying to you. My glove hand was just nasty, and guys would try to pick corners, and I'd be like, nope, not today, son. I'm the cat, and I am Felix. So just... Uh, he, he just was a legend in Toronto. Sorry about the rant, but uh, yeah, it brought me back to the days like most of these 90s cards do for most uh, guys my age. You know, you're looking at old stuff and you're like, holy man, I remember ripping these, you know, in the alley with my boys or whatever, or, uh, you know, on the front porch or in the living room. You know, I did, uh, this 90s were the shit, guys. And uh, Felix Potvin, a legend here in Toronto. Next up, we got Chris Osgood. Beauty. Cup winner, just unbelievable. I believe, uh, I don't know if he won a con Smythe, one of those runs they had, but uh, let's see what his stats were. 2.39 goals against average, 23 and 13. Pretty decent for uh, Chris Osgood there. Hey, boys. And then we got uh, Wade Redden back to some players here. He was a pretty good player himself. Uh, 
I just, uh, I'm not a big fan of the Sens. They're terrible. Doug Waite, Dougie Waite, there he is, another great playmaker, uh, but him with the Edmonton Oilers. And then we got uh, uh, Vinny Danfoos with the Montreal Canadiens, uh, great player, uh, loved him with the Leafs. He just, uh, he knew how to get things done. Great, great skater, great vision, and a great leader as well. So uh, Vinny Danfoos, I met him actually, him and Wendell Clark, um, when I lived in Brampton, when they opened that first Cleves uh, in that, that area anyway and they were introducing or having a signing with Wendell Clark, uh, Vincent Danfoos and uh, Mike Ricci so I met those three guys pretty uh, pretty nice day that was. Um, next up we got Keith Kachuk love him love his whole entire family they just play with uh, chips on their shoulders and that's my style I love guys that play play big even though they are big boys I mean they play with they're just relentless and uh, you know the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree uh, that's Keith Kachuk, son Matthew, and Brady, you know what I mean? Beast. And then we got Joey, Burnaby Joe, Joey Sackick, uh, one of the best release I've ever seen. Him, Brett Hall, obviously uh, AM34 now. Um, uh, Phil Kessel, I'll throw him in there. He's a beauty as well. But uh, Joey Sackett, uh, silent assassin, great leader, unbelievable uh, champion. And, uh, yeah, he's one of my faves for sure. Um, next up, we got Paul Correa. Uh, great with the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Him and Solani were just tremendous together. And, uh, yeah, just fun to watch, guys. Um, too bad uh, that hit with the Scotty Stevens situation. I mean, I'm a big fan of Scott. Uh, I love the way he played. Uh, I'm not – I don't know, man. I, I thought that hit was, uh, you know, pretty – on borderline, but I thought it was still pretty clean. I mean, you come across that blue line with your head down and you, 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 you're not aware that Scott Stevens is on the ice. I don't know, guys. That's a, that's a pretty tough situation to be in. And uh, for Paul, it uh, you know it was kind of a bittersweet thing because he got rocked. He went back to the dressing room, came back out, and scored the game-winning goal. So that uh, what a story that is. And uh, Paul Correa, great career. Too bad it ended up uh, a little bit shorter than he probably wanted it to be. Uh, one of the uh, one of the best defensemen of all time, Ray Bork, um, all-time point leader with the Boston Bruins. Uh, I love Ray Bork, his whole entire career loyal with the Boston Bruins until, you know, sometimes you just got to, you got to do what's best for you and your career, your legacy. And he did that, went to Colorado and, uh, you know, that moment uh, just still sh sends shivers down my spine when, uh, you know, Joey, uh, Joey Sackick uh, just, uh, here you go, Borky, take the cup, run around. And it was the look on his face is, I mean, that will always be a moment that will stick with me forever. And uh, I keep saying it, uh, you know, Tavares, Thornton, Spezza, you know, that's going to happen, boys. I'm tuning those horns, guys, today. Um, pretty happy with the last couple games with the Leafs, eh? How about you guys? Jack Campbell looked pretty good in net last night. I like how things are going, and I love the look of Foligno, too, as well. Whew, that could be a dangerous team, guys. Uh, Brian Burrard, we won't spend too much time on him. Uh, Double J, Yarmie Yager, Pittsburgh Penguin, all-time beauty, beautician, mullet, love it. He's a beaut. Uh, second all-time point leader in the NHL. Uh, he just had fun with hockey, guys. He's still having fun, not retired yet. So uh, uh, I see, um, I'll, I'll, first of all, his cards will still increase in value until, you know, he does retire. And once that happens, you'll see another rise. Uh, and obviously, and it's an OPG Premier, uh, PSA 9s, PSA 10s. Um, and some, you know, obviously some notable other cards that he had, but uh, namely his rookie card. But here's a beauty. Um, Vincent Danfoos, we got doubles of that one. Stevie Y, tremendous leader, 20 years as the captain, uh, Detroit Red Wing. Um, I know there's a lot of Detroit Red Wing fans out there uh, that just, you know, wanted to play like Stevie Y. And, you know, that lineup, that whole, it just, that's probably one of the best lineups they've ever had when they had the Russian Five. And, you know, they had Stevie Y, Scotty Bowman. Uh, just Nick Lidstrom, just unbelievable, right? So uh, they were fun to watch. Uh, many times uh, they would go head to head with uh, uh, my Leafs and uh, make for a sick game. Um, let's see, this year, um, Stevie had 22 goals, 63 assists for 85 points in 81 games. So over a point per game at that time in his career. Uh, keep in mind, uh, his rookie year was 1984. So. 
he was still unbelievable in 97. So, a couple, you know, more than a decade later. Uh, Brandon Shanahan, another Detroit Red Wing, uh, great Toronto Maple Leaf uh, president, I believe, at this time. Yes, he is. Um, and what a power forward. Beautiful guy. Uh, had a great, uh, great career wherever he went, really. Um, I know he played for the Rangers, I believe. Uh, he played for uh, the Whalers. Um, Shani was just uh, one of those guys that could, you, he could play up and down your lineup, power forward, big, tough, in front of the net type of player. And, uh, yeah, it was fun watching him. Timo, my boy, fire. Just such a beauty. Uh, his co-partner on the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, uh, Paul Correa, those two were just magic together. But Solani was a different breed, um, breaking records as soon as he came into the league uh, with that... <laughs> One of my favorite, I keep saying, is like, I love that Sully. I wish I can get an NFT of Timu Solani celebrations. Hey, guys, there's an idea for the NHL NFT wave. We can do Sully's and, and sell them. Why am I giving away ideas? I can get rich right now. But, yeah, uh, NFT Sully uh, collection would be pretty cool. Uh, what, what do you think? Comments down below. What's the best Sully you've ever seen? But his is definitely up there with my with my list. Um, we got uh, Eric, the Big E, Eric Lindros, Legion of Doom, Philadelphia, Philly, Philadelphia, no, Philadelphia Flyer. Um, he was just I've I've talked enough about Big E. Uh, next up, we got uh, Paul Correa. Um, we showed you a double, but he uh, he deserves a double. I'm just getting distracted because my dogs are uh, kind of poking at the door right now. We got Theron Flurry, Theron Flurry. And, uh, yeah, he, I love this player. I believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Rocket, Pavel Bure, such a beauty. I don't like that. He, I didn't like when he changed his number to 96. Um, I, I loved him as number 10. That's what I remember him as. But, uh, yeah, either way, what number he was playing or wearing, excuse me, uh, he was just unbelievable. Took so much command of the game and uh, Pavel the Russian Rocket uh, will always be one of those players uh, from the 90s that you remember who just dominated um, him Solani uh, Lindros um, you know those types of players will be always cemented as the 90s killers for sure in my mind and uh, so fun to watch this type of player as I said before man like uh, I wish another player like Pavel Bure I, I like Kaprizov he could he, he's kind of showing that that type of uh, a game uh, Kaprizov even though I don't watch much of the Minnesota Wild um, you know watching highlights on that kid is uh, you know something uh, pretty special in the making I'm sure um, so it's I'm sure Minnesota Wild's uh, pretty happy to have that type of player because uh, I'm sure you know he, he'll be that type of player to take command put a team on his back kind of like Pavel Bure did and uh, you know it ended up you know pretty decently for for Pavel so uh, I'm sure it will for uh, Kaprizov so here's Brett Hall too as well uh, the, the golden Brett just my favorite player growing up in the 90s um, him Gilmore uh, he just it was so much fun watching him he competed like a dog out there and the release is just un unbelievable. Um, you know, I had his GT snow racer back in the day. Uh, Brett Hall posters in my room. I mean, he was fun to watch. And, uh, you know, can't say more than, than that about Brett Hall, guys. Uh, I mean, uh, did you guys like Brett Hall? Tell me what you thought. Uh, here's Trevor. Trevor Linden with the Vancouver Canucks. Captain long term. Uh, great, great career. I mean, I wouldn't put him in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if he is in the Hall of Fame or not. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think he is. Um, but he's still in the game of hockey. And, uh, you know, he did a lot for that city. Uh, I don't believe Trevor Linden is in the Hall of Fame. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments below. Uh, Saku Koivu, Montreal Canadiens. All right. Uh, Jerome McGinley, Iggy, beauty. Love this one. Um, this is... Yeah, he always wore number 12, but uh, here's a Hall of Famer for sure. And then we got uh, Brian. Oh, we already talked about him. And then we got Peter Forsberg. Uh, he was an awesome player. Him and Sakic, that whole team at that point in time with Watt backstopping those guys. Uh, you got Adam Foote back in the day. Uh, who else did they have? They, they just had such a great lineup. Uh, and, you know, obviously winning the cup uh, put a staple on that. Um, but, yeah. I love Peter Forsberg.
and then last but not least, uh, we got the GOAT, 1997 New York Ranger, Wayne Gretzky. Um, coming to the end of his career, uh, you know, a couple years later after this one. And, uh, you know, he finished off his career as a Ranger, started his career as an Oiler. Unbelievable dynasty during those years. And then, you know, his time with the Kings that uh, I, I still, you know, I still have burned into my mind for the rest of my life because of that uh, 93 run where Wayne Gretzky really uh, not only stole our opportunity, but, you know, stole the show at the end by scoring the goal. Um, Kerry Fraser obviously put a damper in my, in my dreams, but uh, I'm patient and uh, I'm still, you know, I, every time I think about it, I just want to punch through a, a, you know, a TV or a wall, but uh, you know, it's Wayne Gretzky. You got to give credit where credit's due. As I like to say, and uh, you know, he was the goat. He is the goat. He is the all-time leader in points, and uh, that's what it is. And guys, uh, I, I I wanted to say, um, you know, this has been fun. I, I like uh, kind of showing different things, right? I, I've I've got a lot of feedback and people saying to me that, hey, you know, Joe, one thing I like about your channel is that you show different things. It's not just oh. You know, you're showing banger cards or, uh, you know, just graded cards. You, you know, you kind of get into different storylines and, and things like that and keep things unique, right? And and, that, and that's what I'm trying to do, guys. Show you different things because in this hobby, it's not just hockey cards. It, it's all types of things. It's whatever really you like. Um, if it has a meaning to you, then thumbs up, giddy up. You know what I mean? So, guys, um, basically, I just want to say thank you for supporting the channel. Uh, back mention to my 200 subscribers milestone. I, I do thank you guys very much. I uh, never thought I'd get there, but uh, you know, I'm going to keep coming and the consistency will pay off. Um, and uh, I will still have uh, more content on my other social media platforms. Um, I did uh, create a link tree where if you go to my IG uh, at puckdaddy93, um, you can just go to the the bottom of the bio bio and see all my all my content. So it's a, a one step shop where you can you know pretty much access everything. Um, you know my YouTube, my uh, Instagram pages, uh, pd ninety three dot cards and puck daddy ninety three or my TikToks. You know basically it, it's it's saying here's the door, open it, and if you want to chat with me, I'm there. Um, I love talking hockey. I'm going to keep, uh, you know, coming with different stuff. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to be here to join me, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, enjoy your day today, guys. It's Puck Daddy 93 back with another one. Enjoy your day and uh, we'll talk soon.